Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got something super fun that we're gonna do today. We're going to tie-dye bleach some clothes. Now, I've already done a test run of this. I took one of my old Mariner shirts because I am a Mariner's fan because I live in Seattle, duh. And I tie-dye bleached that. It came out really cool. It started off black and um, it ended up this orange color and then I took another old black shirt that I had and I tie-dye bleached that and it came out with a really cool faint design as well. Um, I don't think it was the right material but it worked so I'm not complaining. So for today's video what I really want to do is I have some more shirts and even a pair of shorts that I want to tie-dye bleach and yeah that's what we're gonna do. So I figured first I'll just go through and show you guys the shirts that I'm going to tie-dye bleach before I bleach them. That way you know what they look like. Duh. So we've got this green shirt. It's just a nice plain green shirt. I wore this when I started tie-dyeing the other shirts. That's why there's this bleach spot here. And so I decided we're going to add this to the pile and just bleach tie-dye it because it's already ruined. Next, I've got this sweatshirt. Bought it from the clearance in Target, um, I don't know, a year or two ago. I think it's cute, and I think it'll be even cuter tie-dyed and bleached. I've got this little tank top here. Again, I just think, yeah, it's cute in black, but it's gonna be even cuter tie-dyed. I've got this shirt that I've already DIY'd and I cut the bottom off of. So I was like, let's take it another step further and bleach it. I don't know. And then I've got these shorts. I normally just sleep in them. I like to wear them in the summer with my bathing suits too. And then I've got, for the last shirt I want to do for today, I'm going to do this treat yourself tank top. Um, I definitely like have so, if this goes well as did, or if it goes as good as it did the last two that I did, then I will definitely be making more videos like this. It's just so fun. Oh, when I looked it up online, they say you want to spray it with a spray bottle. I haven't been doing that because I don't have an extra spray bottle to use and I'm not going to go out and buy it just for this. Um, so I haven't been doing it with spray bottles. I've literally just been submerging my shirts into a bucket of bleach and letting them kind of sit there for about 20 minutes and taking them out <laughs> um, and rinsing them right away. So that's the process we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready. I'm just going to basically get all of the shirts bundled up and ready to be bleached and then we'll do that. Okay, this is what we're starting off with bleach. I got my hose ready and my clothes. Here is um, all of the shirts and stuff all bundled up, so we're just going to start bleaching them. Like I said, I've already started the first round of my tie-dyeing. I actually don't know if I have enough bleach to finish all of the clothes I have. So I might, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. We're just going to see what happens. And, um, hmm. yeah, so I'm not going to be filming the rest of the tie-dyeing bleach portion, I guess. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to be filming the rest of the process just because I've already explained it. It's super easy. Like you guys saw, I'm just pouring bleach onto my clothes in a bucket. Um, and then after that, I just rinse it with the hose. It's really not that interesting. Um, I will, yeah, and I honestly just don't want to risk like ruining my camera. Like I was already low-key freaking out about the bleach root, like splashing onto it. Um, I really don't want to risk getting water on it. I just got this camera. Um, yeah. And then this is about halfway through the bleaching process. Hmm. Interesting. 
This shirt got ruined by the bleach. As you can see, there's a hole there and holes all on the side. I didn't even let it sit for that long. All right guys, so I figured I would go ahead and give you an update on how the bleaching process is going, cause it's been a minute. Um, so all the shirts and my sweatshirts and my shorts are in the washer right now. They're just finishing up and then I'm gonna put them in the dryer and then I'll be able to do kind of like a mini fashion show, show you guys how they came out. Because some of them came out pretty freaking cool. At least the ones that didn't get ruined. All right, so I just got the clothes put in the dryer and it'll be about 50 to 60 minutes before they are ready. Then I will dry them on for you guys. Hey guys, so my shirts and shorts that I just got out of the dryer, that I just bleached, they just got out of the dryer. Oh my lord. Um, so I'm gonna do a little fashion show for you and I figure this way I can show you the other shirts that I bleached the other day, last week. So let's begin. This is the first shirt, yeah, the first shirt I bleached. It is a Jack Daniels a Mariner shirt, and I it was black originally, so I love how it turned out this orangey color. So that's this one. I did these shorts too. I don't really feel like modeling them just because the bleach didn't really do a whole lot. It's super faint, so that was a little disappointing. Next shirt now. This is another one of the first shirts that I did. It was just a nice little, it was a black a black t-shirt. And when I bleached it, it came out with this really cool uh, pattern. I really like it. Yee. The back's really cool too. It was a success. Next I have the Treat Yourself tank top. This one, it came out super cool too. It's really weird because a couple of the black things that are black shirts that I tied or bleached, they came out like orange or almost in like kind of a red color. And then some of it came out really like just more of a charcoal with cool designs like this. So yeah, I really love how this one turned out too. I feel like this one came out like at a success. I was really hoping it would do what the other gray shirt that I just tried on did, and it did, so I'm so excited. Like, I wore this a lot already, but I definitely feel like I'm gonna be wearing it a lot more now. So this is the green shirt that I did. I don't know, I, I'm probably going to get rid of this one just because it did, well, I don't mind the holes on it. I just don't see myself wearing it. I just don't like the colors. It didn't come out the way I wanted it to. And honestly, I just like, I'm just not impressed. Apparently, a light green is not a good color for bleaching. I learned that the hard way, so you guys don't have to, okay? And this is a sweatshirt that I did. I'm super happy with how this one turned out. Like, it's the one that says Babes Unite, which you can't even really tell that's what it says now. I don't know, I really liked it before, but I love it more now. And I'm a little bummed it's actually getting nice out because it's too hot for me to wear this out in public now. Hmm. Also, this one is definitely a win. Like. I'm about to run out to the store tomorrow to get some more bleach, just to continue bleaching things. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm pretty excited with how most of these turned out. I only had two things that I didn't, well, I guess three things because of the shorts, but they're still black so it's not like they're ruined. But only two things that didn't really end up working out. They're actually both my fault because I set one, <laughs> I let one sit for too long and then the other was just probably not a good color choice for this project altogether. Um, let me know what you guys think down below how these turned out. Have you tried bleaching your clothes before like this too? Uh, did it work out? Did it not work out? Because I for sure thought this wasn't going to work out. I'm still amazed that it did, which is why I want to like continue to do it because I'm like, what? This works? Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.